Hi guys, welcome to Talking Money with Nozi, personal finance made simple. Today, I'm going to be talking about the difference between ETFs and unit trusts. What is an ETF? An ETF or an exchange traded fund is a list of different shares grouped together into one product and sold on the stock market. Please click on the link that is appearing on your screen right now to watch a more detailed video about ETFs. Let me use another example to help you to understand ETFs. Buying ETFs is like buying a pre-packaged basket of fruits at the store. Let's say that basket has bananas, apples, oranges. That basket is sealed. You cannot remove fruits or add more fruits to that basket. If you buy the basket, you're buying all the fruits inside that basket and you know exactly what fruits are inside there. You pay a small fee for the packaging of those fruits. So when you buy ETFs, you are buying a ready-made basket of shares and you know exactly what is inside of that basket. For example, if you buy a South African top 40 ETF, you know that you are buying a basket of South Africa's 40 biggest companies. I have just logged into my Easy Equities account and I'm going to show you the top 40 shares. So in my Easy Equities are, I leave the investment type as equities, category tags, I change it to top 40. And these are all the top 40 companies. So you can see APSA, African Rainbow Minerals, Anglo Platinum, Anglo American. All of these are the top 40. MTN, Mr. Price, Kumba Iron Ore, Implats, Naspers, Nedbank, Old Mutual, Pep, Sunlam, Shoprite, Vodacom, etc. If you buy the S&P 500 ETF, for example, you know that it is a basket of the USA's 500 largest companies. So I went onto this website, I'll leave the link in my description, it's called Sleek Charts and these are all the components or all the companies that make up the S&P 500 ETF. Number one is Apple, number two is Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet Inc is Google, there's Meta Platforms which is Facebook. I'm only mentioning the ones that you know, right, because the other companies might not be familiar to you. There's Johnson & Johnson. There's Procter & Gamble, there's Visa, there's MasterCard, Pfizer, Walt Disney, Netflix, Adobe, PepsiCo, the Coca-Cola company, PayPal, Nike, McDonald's. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Actually, there are 505 companies, right? So it's not 500 exactly, it's actually 505 companies. What is a unit trust? A unit trust is also a list of different investments grouped together and sold to you. But the difference is that unit trusts are not sold on the stock market. They are sold by fund managers like Alan Gray, Coronation Fund Managers, PSG Asset Managers, Prudential, Signia, etc. Buying unit trusts is like hiring somebody to go and find the best fruits for you at the shops. You don't know which fruits they will choose for you. You just trust that they will make the best decision on your behalf. Also, the fruit shopper can change which fruit they think is the best. If they thought that a banana was one of the best fruits this month, they can decide that it is not the best fruit next month and choose a completely different fruit. Because this person is doing all this extra work for you, they will charge you fees for the basket of fruits and fees for their time and expertise in fruit picking. So when you buy unit trusts, you are not buying a pre-packaged basket of investment. The fund manager who manages unit trusts shops around for you and chooses what investments go into the baskets. So when you buy unit trusts, you are hoping that the fund manager will pick the best investments for you. Because of the extra work involved in managing unit trusts, they tend to charge higher management fees compared to ETFs. I just want to show you the difference between ETFs as well as unit trusts. So as you know, on Easy Equities, you can buy ETFs or unit trusts. 
So let me click on ETFs. And these are the ETFs that are available. So Satrix, go to page two, One Invest, Ashburton, CoreShares, and on and on and on. So with ETFs, they are available to buy any time of the day as long as the stock market is open. So if I just click any random ETF, you will see there's the price. I've got six rand. So let me just put six rand there. And basically I can buy now. So this ETF is available to buy now. The stock market is open. But what about unit trusts? So I'm going to go back. Let me click on unit trusts. And what you see here are unit trusts. Let me click any unit trusts. Most people are familiar with Alan Gray. You can see that if I type in six rand, there's no buy now button. It says place by order. And why is that? This is because it says how the pricing works. Unit trusts use forward pricing. The price quoted is the unit trust price on the previous business day. So today is Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday. The price that you're seeing here is for yesterday. This is yesterday's price, which is Thursday. It says buy and sell orders received before 1.30 p.m. on a business day are processed at the end of that business day. So right now the time is three minutes to one. So it means if I buy this unit trust now, if I place the buy order now because it's not yet 1.30, it means that that buy order is going to be processed at the end of today. And then it says buy and sell orders received after 1.30 p.m. are processed at the end of the next business day. So what this means is that if I don't buy this unit trust now and I buy it later, maybe at 3 p.m. or 2 p.m., this is a Friday, by the way, it means that buy order is only going to be processed at the end of Monday, which is the next business day. And by the way, guys, ETFs are listed on the stock market. That's why they are available to buy at any time because the stock market is open, it's time to play. But unit trusts are not listed on the stock market. Don't be confused. Remember, Easy Equities is not the stock market, guys. Easy Equities is just a platform that allows you to buy things which are listed on the stock market and even things which are not listed on the stock market. So for example, unit trusts are not listed on the stock market. Easy Equities is just facilitating the process for you to buy them. I also did a video about Easy Properties last time. Easy Properties is not listed on the stock market. Easy Equities is just a platform that is giving you access to these things. It doesn't mean that if I'm using Easy Equities, then everything on Easy Equities is on the stock market. So should you invest in unit trusts or ETFs? For me, it all comes down to the fees. I prefer keeping my investment fees as low as possible because fees eat into your investment returns. Let me give you an example. If you buy a fund with a 2% fee and that fund grows by 8% per year, it means that your actual return is 6% because 8 minus 2 is 6, right? But if you bought a different fund with a 0.5% fee and it also grows by 8%, it means that your actual return would be 7.5%, right? Because 8 minus 0.5 is 7.5. At the end of the day, the person who pays lower fees for their investments will have more money in the long term compared to a person who pays higher fees. It's a no-brainer. Another thing that I want to show you, the difference between ETFs and unit trusts is their fees. So let me start with ETFs. I'm going to choose the Satrix Top 40. The Top 40, I've already said, is a basket of South Africa's 40 biggest companies. So let me click on Satrix 40. To look at the fee, I click where it says Easy ETFs. This is the page that opens. I just scroll down and there is the fee, the TER, and it explains it there. It says the total expense ratio, TER, is a measure of the total costs associated with managing and operating an investment fund. And the TER is 0.1% for Satrix 40. Let's look at a unit trust. I'm going to pick any random unit trust. Sunlam Top Choice Equity Fund. 
To view the fee, I have to read the minimum disclosure document. This is where you should go for any unit trust. You must always check the minimum disclosure document first. What does this one do? This actively managed equity portfolio holds approximately 20 stocks listed on the JSE. Okay, so this one is a basket of 20 stocks. What I'm interested in is the TER, the total expense ratio. Here it is. It's 1.82%. Okay, guys, that's it for today. If you want to learn how to invest in the stock market or how to manage your finances, you can buy my ebooks about investing and personal finance. Please go onto my online store, talkingmoneywithnozzy.com to buy your books there and you'll receive them in your email. I will leave the link to the store in my description below. If you have any comments or questions about unit trusts or ETFs, please type them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.